There are several sites and several techniques for injections in the horse. Firstly, the rump. The needle is grasped in one hand, the horse is tapped several times and the needle is placed to the hub into the muscle. Before injecting, you must draw back to ensure there is no blood in the hub of the syringe. The material is then placed into the horse through the syringe. No more than 25 mils should be injected in any one site. No preparation is required prior to injection. The second site is the horse's neck. The area that can be injected is a line drawn along the top of the neck, a line drawn down the level of the horse's vertebral column, and a line drawn from the scapula. The circle is the area where we normally inject. You should pinch an area of skin and place the needle in behind the pinch. The horse will generally not even react to this. The syringe is then attached to the hub of the needle. Again, draw back to ensure there is no blood in the hub of the needle and inject the material into the horse. This is very useful when injecting multiple times and multiple sites over a number of days as in a hospitalised patient. The operator draws back several times during injection to make sure the needle has not moved and gone into a vein. The final site is in the pectoral muscles. The area is shown here. Again, the needle is placed pretty quickly after tapping the muscle several times. The needle is placed up to the hub. The syringe is then connected in the same manner, remembering always to draw back to ensure no blood in the hub of the needle prior to injection. In all cases, it is useful to have an experienced handler to hold the horse while these techniques are performed.